Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I need to talk about the extrude command. So I have this uh, cube right here. Let's bring the 3D cursor in the center. You can hit Shift C, all right, and hit Shift A to add. Maybe I can add uh, UV sphere. Let's add UV sphere and let's move this right here for now. There we go. So let's start with the cube. Let's hit tab to jump to the edit mode and let's start with the face. Hit number three to jump to the face and select any face you like. For example, let's grab this one. If you hit E, you can extrude the face. If you hit E again, you can extrude again. So this is the extrude and this is how it work. You can grab, for example, when you make new extrusion, you can grab the new face that you extrude and extrude it. There is no problem and you can determine the uh, the height of the extrusion if you want to extrude with specific numbers you can grab any face you like and hit e and then just add the number that you want and you will notice that we have all the number right here in this area all right the distance of the extrusion so for example i can extrude this one hit e to extrude it and let's see all right 0.5 meter so this is the distance 0.5 meter this is how it work if you want to repeat this again and again you don't need to extrude extrude it again and add 0.5 meter and extrude this again you can hit shift r to repeat the last operation that you did all right so hit shift r to repeat this shift r is very nice command you can use it so for example let's make a new extrusion here e and let's add for example 0.5 meter and shift r to repeat this again and again keep that in your mind all right now let's see what else we can learn here there is a, a nice technique you can learn here with the extrusion you can hold control and then hit right click and the extrusion will follow your mouse i'm not usually use this technique but sometimes i use it not always but if you like to use it you can use it it's very nice and beautiful way so just select any face you want put your mouse in any place you want hold control and hit right click and you will create a new extrusion reach your mouse cursor keep that in your mind and if you make a turn the extrusion will will be turned automatically like this it's very nice actually I like it all right so this is the normal extrusion and there is another kind of extrusion here inside this icon or if you want you can hit alt e to open the extrude menu i don't like to use these icons actually i need to teach you to use the shortcut always that's gonna make the modeling process very fast all right so okay now let's see what we can do here let's uh, tab out and let's delete this mass here grab it and delete Hit shift a and let's create cube here and let's learn something new here we are still in the face mode tab still in the face mode i'm going to delete this face for example hit xf to delete it and i will hit a to select all the faces that i have right here and now i need to make an extrusion if i hit e alone the extrusion will go to one direction i want to make extrusion and give this a thickness in this case hit ctrl z to cancel it hit alt e to open the extrude menu and we have an option here is called extrude face along normal that can help you to extrude the face along the normal of the face and this is a very important extrusion after that when you make the extrusion and accept it here you will have uh, a menu you can use it you can control the distance here and here we have very important option is called offset even that's gonna fix the offset here we have some option here flip normal that's gonna flip the normal of the faces and we talked about the normal 
we have an option it's called dissolve orthogonal edge if you do this that's gonna delete the outer edges here and give you this result and the proportional editing is something similar to what we have here I'm not gonna worry about it too much here so let's uh, cancel this option and this is what you want to learn uh, for now all right so let's see what uh, option we have let's cancel this and or maybe we can tap again here let's hit E to make a new extrusion right here maybe we can make another one hit E again all right let's hit alt E to open the extrude uh, menu here we have an option it's called the extrude individual phase and here extrude uh, manifold let's talk about the extrude individual phases but not on the cube on the sphere so let's go to the sphere let's grab it by the way don't forget to tab out and then select the sphere and then tap to the edit mode all right so let's grab some faces let's grab these faces for example and let's hit e and extrude individual faces this kind of extrusion is uh, different than the other it will extrude each face alone so let's grab those for example select this one hold control shift and grab this to select the area and hit e to extrude the normal extrusion as you see this one connected but this one not connected so i think you got the idea here this is the option of extrude individual faces this is how it works and for the cube if you apply this one on the cube for example you can grab this and this if you extrude those normally you will get this kind of extrusion control z if you extrude this individual faces this is the result that you will get all right and we have another extrusion is called manifold this is very nice extrusion if i i want for example i want to extrude this back if i hit e and take this back i will get the extrusion working but i will get problem i will have these phases i need to clean i don't want them so this is a problem actually recently they added a new kind of extrusion to the blender it's called extrude manifold so if i use this kind of extrusion and push this back as you see it will push the face back without leaving any ugly faces here so this is very important kind of, uh, of uh, extrusion alt e choose extrude manifold and push this back the same thing here can push this back sometime in this case uh we, you will get some problem like what i did here i push this phase until i reach here and these phases still exist so just keep in your mind it is limited option and it's not uh, working in all cases but for face like this it will work without any problem <clears throat> facing like this it will work without any problem this one as well yeah something like this i hope for, from uh, blender foundation to fix this issue like what i have here because uh, the extrude manifold is a very important kind of extrusion but it's limited and i found recently in uh, 3d max it's another 3d application i find this kind of extrusion they updated and it's become very powerful and i will give you a very small example to understand what i mean here we have the 3d max software let's try to create a box here just to give you a quick example about what i'm saying here let's create a box here and let's convert this to a little poly and let's extrude this and let's extrude this as we did in blender just want to give you example all right so now if i push this back inside 3d max right here as you see i don't have any faces here so this is what i like about the extrusion inside 3d max blender doesn't have this ability so i wish from the blender foundation to fix this extrusion and give us something similar to this result all right now let's go back to blender let's delete everything hit a select everything and then hit delete to delete them and let's add a new cube here 
Alright. Let's tap to the edit mode and let's select one face. Here inside the menu we have an option is called extrude repeat and spin. Extrude repeat will repeat the extrusion towards one direction away from the eye or away from the screen. For example, if I put the screen in this direction, you can hit Alt E and extrude repeat and it will extrude it away from the camera like this. For example, let's grab this one and let's look at the geometry from this angle. The extrusion should go to this direction like this. All right. So let's go like this, Alt E and extrude repeat. And there we go. We have the result and you can manipulate the steps if you like, if you want it like this. So it is just kind of extrusion depending on the view of looking. And here we have another kind of extrusion is called spin. For example, that depends on the distance between the face, the selected faces and the 3D cursor. For example, let's take this as example. And this is the face and this is the 3D cursor. Here we have the distance between the face and between the 3D cursor. So if I hit extrude spin, it will use the distance as a radius of the circle and it will give you uh, extrusion like a circle like this. So let's give the example to understand that. Grab this face, Alt E and use spin. And as you see now, we have spin extrusion like this depending on the 3D cursor. All right, what if I take the 3D cursor away from this point? So Alt Shift and put the 3D cursor right here. And by the way, how to move the 3D cursor? Hold Shift and hit right click. You have all the command right here. This is the left click and this is the right click and this is the middle mouse. All right, so hold shift, hit right click, sorry, to put the 3D cursor right here. And now hit Alt E to spin. As you see now, the spin become bigger. Why? Because now we have the radius is very big. The radius being the distance between the 3D cursor and the selected face. So until now we learned how to extrude the faces. All right, what about the vertices and the edges? Let's start with the edges. You can extrude edge. You can hit E to extrude edge. But if you hit Alt E, you will not find the option that, that we have in the face. This, this is something different. All right, so we just have the extrude and we have extrude repeat and spin. We learned what spin mean and extrude repeat mean. So you can extrude edge if you want. There is no problem. Just hit E and extrude. All right, and you can extrude vertices as well if you like. You can extrude this to this direction, sorry, E and move. And then E and move the extrusion down and E to make an extrusion. So that's cool. So maybe you will ask why I need to extrude vertices. Uh, you need to extrude vertices because you can create a face uh, here. For example, if I grab this vertex and I grab this one, it's M to merge and merge at last to make the merge. Now I can grab these four vertices and hit F to create a face. And we will learn all of this later. Don't worry what I'm doing right now. So just I want to give you example here. So this is how to use the vertex extrusion and the same scenario for the 3D cursor. For example, if I want to spin this around the 3D cursor, Alt Shift, right click, put the 3D cursor right here, Alt E, Q, spin, and there we go. Now we have uh, a circle of vertices extruded around the 3D cursor. All right, so uh, that's it for now. Uh, what we need to talk now, I think uh, the same thing for the vertices and the edges. If you hold control and right click, you can, the the vertices will, fo will follow your mouse. Just keep that in your mind similar to the faces. So that's will do it for this video and uh, see you in the next one.